Hey everyone, welcome back to another tier list video. As a lot of you are probably aware, I made a video a couple days ago ranking every enemy in Lethal Company based on their difficulty. So, now that I've successfully reached over an oh 8,000- oh, Okay, shut up, okay. Listen, this list sucks. When I was making the tier list in my last video, I like completely forgot that shovels exist because my team never used them, and I also just like didn't put a lot of thought into it when ranking some of the enemies, so simply put, I'm not at all happy with this list, so I'm gonna redo it with feedback from you guys and a better understanding of the game to hopefully make this list as accurate as possible. This time we're gonna be moving up through the tiers as we move along, starting at D tier and moving our way steadily up to S+. So like last time, roaming locusts and manticoles are obviously going to stay in the bottom tier. I wasn't wrong about that one, thank god. Moving to the deadliest enemy in the D tier, spore lizards, while they can technically kill you if you run right into them, are almost 100% harmless because of their tendency to run away from the player, which makes it pretty much impossible to even accidentally die to these adorable little monsters. Quickly moving up to the C tier, baboon hawks are still pretty harmless enemies, but when moving in packs or if the player is incapable of raising their voice at them, they will take a couple bites out of you. So while not being super deadly, these definitely deserve to be in the bottom of C tier. There's really not too much to say about these slimes that I didn't already say in my last video. They are hitboxes that scooch around the map at the velocity of a tortoise. They can be slightly dangerous if they trap you or if you're trying to run away from some other enemy, but overall I don't think my placement of these gelatinous feeds was too far off. Hoarding bugs are one of the friendliest enemies in the game. These little insects that we like to call Melvin will simply just wander around the map, causing no risk to the player. The only real risk that these bugs pose is when they're guarding a piece of loot, since when they get angry, they'll get pretty damn angry. However, if you're just smart and stay away from them when they're raising their little talons, they become some of the most harmless enemies in the game. And to be honest, I have no idea why I ranked them so high in my first video. They can also be killed extremely easily with a shovel, even if they do get mad. But we'll get C tier since they can technically be dangerous without shovels. In my last tier list, I put Sneer Fleas in the S tier, and I am well aware now of how off that is. I think a large part of why I got a lot of things wrong in that video is because my team simply forgot that shovels existed. We played the game like these enemies were impossible to kill, and would thus view them as far more dangerous than they actually were. With a shovel, fleas are extremely easy to deal with. Even if they do catch you by surprise and wrap themselves around your head, if you had a shovel on you, you could just pick it up and save yourself. A friend can also do this for you, and you can also kill them by exiting the facility, and if you spot them before they spot about you, they'll never be a problem, as long as you remember where they were. However, they are quick if they decide to chase you, and without shovels or an exit, they can be pretty deadly, so they'll be placed in the bottom of B tier. Spiders are definitely a lot more dangerous than I gave them credit for, especially without shovels. One bite from a bunker spider will bring you down to critical injury, so two consecutive hits will result in an instantaneous death. If they spot you, they're pretty damn fast, and will outrun you if you're out of stamina. If you have one of these things chasing you when you're lost, or when you have another enemy on you as well, spiders can be one of the more deadly enemies in the game. However, you can kill them pretty easily with a shovel, so they'll go at about the same tier as the fleas. The mast are yet another enemy that gets absolutely clowned on if your team brings a shovel. Even if they grab you and begin their blood vomiting routine, hitting it with a shovel or having a friend do the same will save you. The only thing that puts them above the fleas and the spiders is that they're able to sprint at you just as fast as you can, and can go in and out of the facility. My placement for the electric bees was definitely a little off, seeing as I put them in the highest tier possible. Sure, they can be really dangerous if they lose their hive and begin roaming around the forest, but if you know how to safely grab their hive and know not to put it in the ship before it's time to leave, the bees are many times less dangerous and will be demoted all the way to the B tier. Where I placed thumpers in my last tier list might have been the most controversial thing in the video, and I definitely see what you guys mean now that I've reflected. I put thumpers at the top of the list, in lethal tier, even though these things can be killed in like 4 hits with a shovel, and every time you hit them or whenever they see a player, their speed will completely reset and they'll crawl towards you at a snail's pace while they slowly bring back up their speed. So even with a weapon to easily take care of this guy, they're really not that hard to run away from, and shovels make these monsters a piece of cake. Sorry thumpers, but with the bees you're gonna be downgraded from S plus all the way down to B tier. I was surprised that a few of you felt like I ranked brackens a little lower than you would have liked, despite me putting them in A tier. I'm gonna be honest, I still don't really get what makes them so dangerous. If you just get in the habit of doing constant checks around yourself, you basically proof yourself from ever being killed by one of these monsters, since they thrive off oblivious players that are never checking their backs. I did forget to mention that they can charge you if you stare at them a bit too long, but even if they do get angered, they make a very obvious noise when it happens, and if you just run away for a little bit, they'll calm down and back off. So even though you guys might think they should be higher, Brackens are staying at the bottom of A tier in this list. Nutcrackers, while they wield a shotgun and a really good kicking leg, are a lot easier to deal with than what I gave them credit for. These things are literally blind, and while they're walking around, they won't be able to raise their gun to you whatsoever. 
They can kick you if you accidentally knock into one, but this should really never happen if you just don't go close to it or don't stop moving in the middle of a doorway. If they do happen to see you, or if you're dealing with other enemies and can't stand still when the Nutcracker is surfing around with its eye, it can be pretty bad, and they'll take shots at you that will be fatal more likely than not. However, their lack of sight when they're walking around makes them far more harmless than I really accounted for, so they'll get an A tier, right above the Brackens. Eyeless dollars have a simple mechanic, don't make noise, and they won't attack. Sounds simple, right? Tier tier enemy material, right? Well, no. It's not easy to be quiet in this game, and I don't just mean like it's hard not to talk or it, that it's hard to make your mechanical keyboard be a bit quieter. No, I mean like everything you do besides crouch walking will make these canines alerted to your presence. Dropping an item, walking, running, having a robot or a clacking pair of teeth in your inventory, all these things can make the dogs charge you at a moment's notice. That's pretty bad, but then you have to drop items to dodge leviathans, run away from giants, the mast, and the girl. Eyeless dogs in concept are easy to avoid, but combined with all these other factors, they become one of the more dangerous enemies in the game. Clearly not as dangerous as I said in the last tier list video, since I can definitely see how some other enemies are much more deadly, but top of A tier for sure. Also, I'm like almost positive that sometimes they'll bug out and just charge you even if you aren't making noise. Alright, now we're moving on to the S tier, which means that we're going to start to see some of the really problematic enemies in this game. First off, we have Jesters, which is an enemy I actually ranked pretty low on the list in my last video. The reason why I did this is because while they have a very large kill potential, when one appears it's more of just an evacuation alarm that lasts up to 40 seconds or longer for everyone to leave the facility. However, I failed to realize that while everyone is searching in their own direction, if a gesture appears on someone and no one has walkie-talkies, your entire team is going to be absolutely clueless that this ticking time bomb is beginning to count down, and we all know what happens when a gesture completely comes out of his box. While I don't find Coilheads to be particularly deadly when it's the only enemy around, when combined with other enemies, and when you are deep inside the facility desperately looking for a way back to the exit, Coilheads are definitely one of the most dangerous enemies in the game. If they happen to touch you at all, they'll immediately bring you down to critical injury, or just murder you in the spot if you're already injured. They also just make you extremely vulnerable as you try to navigate with one locked onto you, since you can't turn your back to check if you're walking straight into a bracken and stuff like that. One thing I will say though is that they can get stuck behind a closed door for quite a long time, which makes them slightly less of a danger and saves them from the S plus tier. A few of you guys said that the ghost girl should be an S plus tier, and I can definitely see why. However, the only reason why she's floating on the very edge between S and S plus is because you can technically counter her if you're good enough at not looking at her whenever she appears. You can also abuse the facility exits and the fact that she always spawns behind you. She also can only target one player at a time, so while she is one of the most deadliest enemies in the game, she'll be sitting right at the top of S tier. Earth Leviathans tie the Ghost Girl at the top of S tier, and almost take the prize as the deadliest enemies in the game. If one begins to tunnel underneath you, and you don't have the reaction time to immediately drop everything and run, these worms are extremely deadly. The only thing that saves them from S plus is how rare they are, and the fact that you can technically dodge around them if you precisely know what you're doing. And now we've reached the very top of the list, S plus tier. In my last tier list, there were a total of 6 enemies in this tier, and only one of them has remained. This enemy is Forest Giants, which are no doubt the most lethal enemy in all of Lethal Company. While every enemy in even S tier has their counters and their disadvantages, Forest Giants have almost none. They can spot you from a mile away, will happily camp a facility entrance or the ship, will chase you almost as fast as your character can sprint at zero pounds, and will insta-kill you if they grab you. I will mention that they can be stunned by the zap gun or a radar booster, but without these two gimmicky items, giants earn their spot as the king of the monsters. Almost forgot to mention, but mines are C tier because they're very hard to step on if you just pay attention, and turrets will get A tier, since while they're easy to dodge on their own in a small quarter, if one spawns in a big room, or if there's like 10 of them in the same area, they can be pretty dangerous. I think this time around I've managed to place everything a lot more accurately, but if you guys view this list a little bit differently, I would definitely like to hear you guys' opinions. I've also provided a tier list link in the description if you want to play along and rank these enemies yourself, so give it a go. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.